Now to a developing story, Israel preparing for the possibility of an imminent attack by Iran. CBS News has learned that the Pentagon has repositioned a Navy destroyer in the region, joining another warship that's already there. And Israel says it's ready to hit back. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with the latest. Dick. Well, Christina Maurice, Iran is said to be ready to attack after Israel bombed its embassy in Syria, killing 13 people. But people, but it also wants to avoid bringing the U.S. into the fight. And now there are fears of a larger conflict. Mr. President, are you worried Iran will kill Americans? President Biden answered, I'm always concerned about Americans. And he says he expects Iran to attack Israel sooner rather than later. Your message to Iran in this moment. Don't. U.S. officials say the size of the planned attack has grown in recent days. It could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles used for long-term strikes. <laughs> Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited the troops that are on high alert, while a spokesperson for the IDF says Israel will strike back and go on the offensive with what it says is a variety of capabilities. The Pentagon's top commander for the Middle East arrived in Israel as preparations continue. We discussed the close cooperation between the United States and Israel, between our defense establishments and our militaries. Iran vowed retaliation after an airstrike on its embassy in Damascus, Syria, earlier this month. Iranian state media says 13 people, including two senior Iranian generals, were killed. The move to strike the embassy annex of the Iranians was an extremely provocative move. So I think we can see any number of things happening in the very near future. And U.S. officials fear that the region could face a broader conflict. If there's a significant mass casualty event inside Israel, then I think the possibility of escalation is very, very high. President Biden now has the challenge of supporting Israel against Iran while avoiding the U.S. being drawn into war. The most dangerous thing from American perspective is probably the introduction of U.S. boots on the ground or U.S. and Iran getting into direct military conflict. Now, the State Department is warning American diplomats not to travel outside Tel Aviv or Jerusalem, while the U.K. has gone further, advising people to leave Israel if they can. Maurice. Dick, thank you.